Welcome everyone. I'm Emil Tompa, and I'm the director of the Center for Research on World Disability Policy. I'm also a member of the DWC Steering Committee. Our small steering committee of five people comprised of Alec Barquar, Maureen Hahn, Steve Mantis, Ron Saunders, and myself, Emil Tompa, along with amazing support from Kathy Patkaleva, Sabrina Imam, Nav Basra, and Samira Admazai, have been working tirelessly, planning, organizing, inviting, pre-recording, reviewing, editing, amongst a number of other tasks over the last six to eight months in order to pull together this virtual conference. Another thing our small steering committee team has been doing over the last six to eight months is formalizing our governance and planning how we might expand the steering committee. I note that we have heard from many of you about the need for a DWC committee to be bigger and more representative of the diversity of people who live and work in this community. We are actively seeking to do this in a thoughtful way. So stay tuned and we'll keep you posted as we move forward on this front. So without further ado, I'm extremely pleased and honored to present our next item on the agenda, which is an Indigenous land acknowledgement given by Stephen Linton, President of the Board of Directors of the British Columbia Aboriginal Network on Disability Society, or BCANS for short. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the day and the conference. My name is Stephen Lytton, and I'm a member of the Nikoman Indian Band within the Antlagatma First Nation. I also am the president of the BC Aboriginal Network on Disability Society. I am very pleased to be here virtually with you today at the Disability and Work in Canada 2020 conference. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to this year's conference and recognize the unceded territories of Squamish, Musqueam, and tsleil nations on which I live and prepared this video. I would also like to acknowledge the traditional territories of each of the nations across Canada that you as delegates are participating to, from and to sincerely thank their peoples for allowing us to come together on their ancestral lands to meet, share and strengthen old relationships while creating new ones. As a First Nations man who lives with a disability, who spent 16 years in residential school you can probably imagine that when it came to gaining and maintaining employment, I, like others, including I'm sure many attending today, witnessed and experienced multiple barriers, discrimination, and quite honestly, indifference to my desire and my right to be employed. Living with a disability presents multiple challenges when seeking employment and in being given the opportunity to show the value you can bring as an employee. Couple that with being Indigenous and those challenges increase and add an extra dynamic that potential employers often think about at times fear. I often hear governments at all levels say that the struggles, poverty, marginalization of persons living with a disability would all be lessened if we can just get a job, which I think if all think we're equal, that would be true. But all things, unfortunately, are not equal. They are and never have been equal for pe persons living with a disability. Persons with disabilities are our people. We have the need for adequate and affordable and safe housing. We like to eat sometimes. We would like equal access to health and disability services. 
transportation and relationships, the same opportunities that everyone should be able to enjoy. I bring those things up because without stability in our areas, how can we be, be prepared to step up as potential employees and say, I am ready to work? If you spend your day worrying about your or your family's safety or whether you or your kids will eat today, if you will be evicted or have your utilities turned off, knowing that you cannot pay for your prescriptions, that you have no access to transportation, etc. And then, while dealing with all that, to have to convince the employer that your disability, your life, and your reality won't adversely impact on their business. Well, that's easier said than done. As we, as you move forward today, let's take a new look at employment and understand the employability for many persons living with a disability is not just a matter of handing in a resume, that we have to look at the person as a whole and we have to pre be prepared to provide the time and the effort to help them succeed in the other aspects of their life. So in turn, they can be better equipped to succeed in employment. I wish you all the very best during this conference. And I hope that through your work, we will see positive steps forward. Thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to you today.